I'm not entirely sure how long this is going to take to fully fix. Um, I cut out on both ends and I mudded it, but the mud was, well, the mud will shrink. So it's almost certain I'll have to come back and redo it. Um, I'm hoping that it works because when I cut things out and I don't know if it was noticeable from the other camera, but this, uh, this was, this piece was huge. <clears throat> and the thing is there's, there's a, a blob here, some of which I, I broke off. And, well, you can't see it now, I've covered it up. But at any rate, the back of this, with the exception of that one blob, the back of this thing is completely dry. So it's, it's as though I put the paper up with no mud underneath it. So that's, that's pretty frustrating. I don't know if it was a lesson learned from this room, but when I was working on this room, I, I would um, put up the mud and then every piece of paper tape, I would actually run through the water bucket so that the, the paper tape was really wet. And my hope was that the mud would soak in. And I took the same approach here. So everywhere in here, really. And these corners here would have been the worst. And they look pretty okay. So I guess it... The approach was uh, was a good one, and oh no, that's loose. You can hear it. Sort of see it. That looks like it might be. I don't know. Maybe that's okay. Anyway. Oh gosh, that looks awful. And where does the, I guess it must be somewhere over here that the um, uh, beam comes out, but somehow I've managed to hide it fairly well. Kind of proud of myself. I don't think there's any paper there though, so we'll see how long that, oh, at a glance. It shows up really, it shows up better on camera than it does in real life, but this whole thing is a bubble and will have to be cut out and replaced. So again, I don't know if it was obvious uh, from yesterday's video, but okay, I think you can see the, the square piece of paper. So right here, this entire area had broken away, I think possibly when I pulled the light down or something like that. So there was a, a great big loose chunk and I didn't want to cut that out, so instead I I clamped it to the ceiling. I put a whole bunch of mud inside the broken piece and then I clamped the uh, tiling, uh, whatever this is called, it's not a sponge, a float. I clamped a float to it so that it would, it would clamp flat on the ceiling. And it came out not too bad, lots of gaps and such, but it, you know, I filled those in, smoothed it out. So, uh, I guess we'll see what it looks like after it dries. It might take another coat of mud. Uh, I think I've addressed almost everything, although this area here, the whole thing is pretty rough. I, I hit the top of it and at least over here, I may have to come back and hit, hit the, um, the lower side. But other than that, I think we're ready for paint.